So this week we see a flurry of news headlines all about an incredibly sad story that's just come out here in the UK. Last week I mentioned that the golf courses on the Wirral, which is up near Liverpool, are three out of four of them are due to close. But this week we have even far, far sadder news that apparently a, a, well, I'll read the headline. Body of baby on Wirral golf course may have been there for weeks. The body of a baby boy discovered at a golf course in the Wirral may have been there for several weeks, said Merseyside police. Police are continuing to treat the death as unexplained after an initial post-mortem on Monday was inconclusive in determining the cause of death. Officers are trying to find the boy's mother to check on her welfare and safety and see if she needs medical help. Clearly it will be as distressing for her as anyone else reading. We just want to build a timeline of what's happened throughout the pregnancy to lead into the event where the little boy has been left in the location he's been recovered in. The boy's body was discovered by a couple walking their dogs on a public footpath through Brackenwood Golf Course in Bebbington on Friday. Police believe the body may have been there for at least four or five weeks, but cannot be sure due to the recent cold weather. The golf course has been closed to golfers under lockdown restrictions. The body was discovered in a wooded area off the public right of way. Yeah, pretty, pretty horrendous story. Apparently the police have said they want to extend support to the baby's parents and other family members and give the boy some dignity in death. Any death of a baby is tra tragic. When a baby is recovered in this set of circumstances, it touches everybody. Forensic tests are now taking place, but may prove inconclusive in determining when or how the baby died unless the boy's mother or family come forward. Now, there are a bunch of other headlines all about this same story. Is obviously incredibly sad. No one seems to really know what's happened at the moment. Just that a couple were walking their dogs along a um, basically a public owned golf course. It's run by the council apparently. And came across this in a wooded area. Apparently it wasn't kind of buried or covered up or anything. It was very much... Um, just exposed I guess. So not good news in the golf community especially in the kind of uh, northwest of England this this week. Yeah sorry to bring you guys such sad news. Um, I'm sure we'll be getting more information about this story as to what's exactly happened in coming days and weeks. I mean, it's already, you know, I'm sure it's already sad that the world has three out of its four golf courses are due to close. Plus, you know, golf courses are all closed due to lockdown. And now for this to happen is just absolutely beyond tragic. So I, I have personally never heard of any stories like this before. If you have, please comment down below. Um, I've never heard of any other circumstances like this happening on a golf course, especially, you know, I don't live in that area, but that's not too far from me. I have actually done, you know, played golf, not on that course, but um, in that area before. And it's only probably a three hour drive from, from me. So it's, um, you know, I'm sure it's hitting everyone very close to home, everyone who has kids, everyone who... Well, just everyone, really. I'm sure, you know, no one likes to hear about something like this happening. And 
you know, hopefully the mother of the child is okay as well, and hopefully um, this uh, comes to as peaceful a resolution as it, as it can, I guess. I mean, yeah, sorry to bring you guys such sad news. It was all over the news, I thought, you know, worth telling you guys about, worth noting, um, and yeah. Sorry, it's uh, not a very happy video today, guys, but much more happy videos will be coming very soon, so stay tuned to those. Um, like this video and show your support to this uh, situation and cause and you know i'll see you guys in the next video so as always guys grip it and rip it